it directly links to the $400 uh, plan to get a, yeah. a license in therapy. And it's like, what the fuck is this? You don't, if you're trying to vouch for the integrity of your company, you don't link to the fucking Telemental Health Institute. It looks like a, like, like some bullshit. Uh, the president and co-founder of that company, which is called Compile Inc., is uh, Isaac Fe Ferenbach. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I did it right. But um, I haven't even had time to read through this post. It literally just got posted, and it appears to uh, dig a little bit deeper into the AI connections with Teladoc. All right, so... Let me first off, we have this clip. Gator, you found this clip, am I correct? The streamable clip? Yes. Okay. Let me play that. Let me sorry, I pulled up voice meter by accident. Okay, here's the streamable clip. Uh I don't know if it's been posted in the Discord or not. Um I'll just send it to you, Josh, because I have your DMs pulled open. Here's a very short uh, Philly DeFranco clip. Partnered with better help at a company level. What what does that mean? I wonder. All right, let's play it right now. BetterHelp has been a sponsor of our videos. We've even partnered with them at a company level to help them with other sponsorships with other YouTubers. Oh, partnered at a company level. Huh. That was a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper, kind of what we were talking about last night. Jim mentioned as well, kind of, what do you call it? An affiliate scam? Uh, yes. it, it's a Ponzi scheme or it's called affiliate marketing. And it's really, it's, it's kind of a popular thing online because it gives people who are publishers a lot more, uh, leeway with how they choose to to do their advertising like for instance on the kiwi farms on the front page there's a link to private internet access and that's an affiliate url um and i i put that up there it's been there for years it actually generates quite a few click-throughs because people on my site want vpns but um yeah the 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 ponzi scheme the pyramid scheme element comes from this idea that if for instance philip defranco recruits boogie who recruits somebody else and then they uh, have an affiliate click through uh, that third person would get maybe $200 boogie would get $100 and Philip DeFranco would get $50. So um, the idea is and from what I've seen on the first page of the better help thread on the forum somebody actually went through and checked all the campaign tokens for all the affiliate URLs we can find on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, I think there's about 10 or so that belong to the now uh, What's it called? It's not Red Rocket. It's Rogue, it? Rogue Rocket. Rogue Rocket. Rogue Rocket. <laughs> not Red Rocket. That's furry shit. Yeah, the furries it's, are fucking getting in my brain at this point. I'm going to have a stroke and die. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. There's the Rogue. That image on Rogue Rocket. I, oh, God, this guy. Um, so here goes the here goes the list that, that uh, I was sent by you, Josh. Uh, these are all people who, if you click through their, their affiliate link, it has the Rogue Rocket tag on it. Boogie2988, who was on the show last night. Philip DeFranco himself, of course. Andre Turba, Turbea. I don't know that person, but Shane Dawson, of course. He, we, I think most people know him. Domix, Glam and Gore, Super Carlin Brothers, Bobby Duke Arts, Arts Jack Films, Bart, Bart, Bart Baker. And that's that's a list. Uh, and there is it possible there could be even more, right? I don't know if that's, if that's the final list or not, but... Um, uh, there could be more, but uh, we have a giant list of all people that we know have okay. uh, shelled it out. It's missing Andy Worski, for instance. So yeah. uh, that one didn't get catch. I'm sure there's more mid-tier YouTubers outside of the obvious spheres who pushed it. All right. Awesome. Um, yeah, go ahead. But based on what Boogie said, there's a very good probability that these people got their affiliate URLs from their uh, their managers because it seems like a seismic, which was Boogie's company handed him the URL to give, and they probably got it directly from Philip DeFranco. So Philip DeFranco is probably talking to his manager and other managers, and he's spreading this around as the very tippy top of the pyramid. And he's probably getting clicks and money from like everybody that signs on, uh, no matter if it's through Boogie or who else, because of uh, his role in the company. Shane Dawson, this was put out at 7.37 p.m. Eastern, so about three hours ago. Also, send some love to Katie Morton. She's a great person and has helped so many people. She also puts so much on the line for this series. She makes the rest of the series something really special and takes it to a deeper level. I'm so grateful for her. Love you, Katie. And that's, of course, yeah, the mystery woman who keeps showing up. Her help everywhere. Show. Yes. She's like the handler. Yeah, that, that's, you know, he said... 
after Keem contacted them, he was going to look into this, but it just seems like the only thing he looked into was his bank account and said, yeah, everything looks great. I'm sure he's made tens of thousands of dollars off of this. Oh, yeah. Just Easily. Not off. just that. But think about, like, this is a video series that he's doing, and he said it was going to be, like, eight parts or something like that. Yeah, and the first So he stands really... to make an incredible amount of money off of this. No, I haven't actually seen this, but I've heard it mentioned more than more than once. It seems like Shane Dawson is a popular YouTuber who does a series about other YouTubers who yes. exhibit symptoms of, of like sociopathy. And this yeah, is... he's the hot new shit. He's getting pimped everywhere. I haven't actually watched any of his series because he's just too gay for me. Like I just don't, I don't have a need to. But while to he's doing that. this, he's leading up to the the Mental Health Day on the fourteenth of of this month. And all the while he's doing these videos, he's also saying, if you need mental help, you can go to BetterHelp. And he's got this yep. chick who is the the specter, the the public figure of BetterHelp uh, along with him, at least for this one video. Yeah, it Not seems to be all structured that. around that. I think, who was it that brought that up last night? That it, it was pretty much leading Memology. up to this. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Memology. Uh, by the uh, way, I'm about to check. Does he have a new video out? We might play that if he does. Um, I'm not sure. I, he DM'd me. I told him to jump in the green room. Sure. Available. Yeah, I figured we might as well. This is another day. Also, I put out a tweet earlier. I think it's time for Philly D to come on the kill stream. That's what I think. It, it very much is. He needs to answer for this. But you know the Shane Dawson videos on Jake Paul? The first one has 18 million views. The second one has like 17 million. And he links better help in every single one. Wait, wait. Each of yes. these videos are getting 18 million. Yeah, dude, fucking... like I said, he's one of the yes. hottest things on YouTube right now. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. The one he published yesterday has 10 million views. I'm just thinking, I'm trying to run numbers in my head. Like, because he's he's a tier two affiliate because he's under uh, Philip DeFranco. I don't know how much DeFranco makes per click, but I imagine if Boogie's getting 200, this guy's getting 200. So you want to think if he's getting 18 million views per video and you think about how many unique people are watching this video... Like any any fraction of that number times two hundred is inconceivable amounts of fucking money. Ten million. That's the one he did yesterday. That's the one from yesterday. Check out BetterHelp. Yep. yep. Every single one of them has check out BetterHelp. That's and so I'm, much fucking money. And, and I think, you know, I, <laughs> it is. And click I through. If you click through, I, I'll have to make it bigger. But um, hold on a sec. Let me let me make the window. I have to, I'll just increase the window real quick, uh, so you can see the URL. Uh, but if you look through right here, you can see the Rogue Rocket tag. So Billy DeFranco is the one that got him in on this, like Josh said. There's the Rogue Rocket tag. And right it probably there. wasn't DeFranco directly. It was probably uh, like their their managers, like swapping yeah. affiliate stuff. So it's it's a it's a pyramid scheme basically. It's not yeah, a Ponzi scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. You got the companies at the top, then you've got the yeah. middle guys, then you've got all the suckers on the bottom. And basically, the suckers, who I have to sadly say, are are the subscribers, right? They're the ones footing the bill for this stuff. They're the ones getting screwed out of their money for for what fake fake help. Well, this is I a mean, giant the, fucking scam. The thing is, because of how it's presented, I don't really think that the people at the bottom stand too much to lose, but they are going to lose reputation depending on how this turns out. And so far from what I've seen, there's a pretty good chance that the therapists on the site, the majority of them are actually okay, just based on some of the uh, uh, Well, some of them stories. might be legit, so I don't, you yeah. know, but but their, their pricing structure... Um, Everything just, else just besides... How it's there's, pimped out, it's it's yeah. not it's sold as something that's really not. That's that's another problem that I have with and it. The the direct tie, the thing that got me is you go to the counseling page and, and Alan Mattov, CEO and founder, was basically saying, like, look, you can go through these guys and see that every single one of them is, is accredited and we do a lot more uh, verification than just just making sure they have a license. They have to actually show up on video and, and talk to us and we have to human test them. But at the very bottom of the page, there's a direct link to that very, very suspect uh, Telemental Health Institute, which, which has, like, it directly links to the $400 uh, plan to get a, yeah. a license in therapy. And it's like, what the fuck is this? You don't, if you're trying to vouch for the integrity of your company, you don't link to the fucking Telemental Health Institute. It looks like a, like, like some bullshit. 